Yay, well, it's day 24, and we made it through the break, the eight days of nothing. That was considered by most to be one of the hardest parts of a dieta. So tonight, um, my is back, my teacher is back, we're doing a ceremony. Things should start moving again. Uh, I was having breakfast this morning and just kind of trying not to gag because the food here is well you know pretty bad <laughs> not once again not because the ladies here don't like us but it's just the nature of the dieta they i think they deliberately make the food disgusting so that you eat less and the less you eat of course the better it is for your plant that you're taking so this morning was kind of this baby food like mush of pureed vegetables I think I could taste some root vegetables in there maybe a little bit of carrot but it just didn't taste good it didn't smell good fortunately they gave me a scrambled egg to eat as well for protein so I just ate that so I didn't go completely hungry drank a cup of tea and drank some of that master plant tonic that I've been drinking and uh, while I was eating breakfast I overheard uh, Dennis uh, one of the workers here discussing dieta with uh, someone else I think he was talking to Dub and uh, what he was saying is that he's seen so many people come here to diet and last less than a few days and after a few days they just start stealing food from the kitchen like we have kind of an open kitchen there's a black piece of tape on the floor that's symbolic that's for the di for the dieters they're not allowed to cross it because if they cross it they have access to our kitchen and, but he says that our uh, he's, he's seen so many people you know last a few days and then just start going into the kitchen and hiding food you know sneaking out food and uh, he says you know, he's he's good at spotting things so he he can see like these girls he said would stuff bananas in their pants or apples in their shirt um, just so they can get some food but they didn't want anyone to see that they're violating their dieta or breaking their dieta and I can understand it's really hard um, from from what he was saying that you know less than 10 percent of the people that come here to diet uh, an extended diet will be able to complete it successfully um, and he says it's not just the food it's the boredom they can't handle it they're always on their cell phone they're always chattering talking to each other and uh, of course that's counterproductive to uh, to having any kind of a success with with the master plan so they do not enforce the rules with a hard uh, policy here if um, if you're dieting and you walk up into the kitchen and grab an apple or a banana they're not gonna say anything I mean this is all on you this is your journey but they are very surprised that people pay money and take you know extended periods of time out of their lives to come here for a diet and then fail to even make it halfway in because it's so challenging and they have such a hard time with self-control so this is not the best route for people with addictions because there's someone here dieting or trying to diet right now with addiction and she's completely off the rails she didn't last a week um, started eating copious amounts of food putting salt on her food sitting on her cell phone days at a time live streaming to her Instagram following uh, you know now she's outside sunbathing in the nude uh, which is one of the key rules of dieta you're not supposed to be in direct sunlight so definitely exhibiting a lot of classic addiction behaviors where instant gratification is the primary objective so not a good place uh, for addicts unless they've managed to conquer their addictive impulses this is not a 
an easy thing to do and uh, the expectations here should be that it will be hard and it will get harder and harder until it's over so it's a test the plant is testing you and you're testing yourself to make sure that this is what you really want to show the plant your commitment to the process because that plant is going to be with you for the rest of your life and they want to make sure that you're worth it so just like getting married almost you know i was just thinking that it's like uh, dieta is the dating phase of the relationship to your plant and if you can make it all the way through the highs and the lows then at the end of your dieta you get to marry your plant spiritually and it'll stay with you for the rest of your life or its spirit will anyway so tonight I'm excited looking forward to the ceremony uh, Duff told me I should be very excited for the ceremony because usually some interesting things happen after the rest period when everything gets really quiet and nothing's going on that's the period where it's most tempting to break dieta but I was good I stuck with it the whole time small meals no cell phone very 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 little interaction uh, lots of boredom it was a struggle but we made it so I'm excited to see what happens next <laughs>